Paul to witness today because these two teams, there are so much storylines behind them. You look at Haile Selassie, you know, building somewhat of a reputation of being a giant slayer, beating Excelsior to get into this round. We don't know how much smooth stones they still have in their arsenal, but we're going to find out if they have what it takes to yeah. get the better of a Jamaica college. Giant team. slayers, it's another David and Goliath story. Ja, Jamaica College in this instance would be Goliath because they are mounting a giant of, of schoolboy football, 30 time champions. 30 time. And of course, they come to state that claim um, as champions. They want to regain what they so narrowly lost last season. They came this close. I wish you could see how close my fingers are together, viewers. But they came very close. They were runners up last season, lost in the finals again to KC. And they want back what's theirs. It was a penalty shootout, Gerard. So. Losing that way, it can be bone crushing, but at the same time, you were this close, so they can build up on that. Yeah, but the captain from Haley Selassie, his name Joshua Dwight Dewar, he said that he wants to continue uh, to make his school community proud. And boy, have they done that! Let's take a look at the underdogs in this one. Team feature for the, for you. problem with football in Jamaica is the inability to manage either success or failure. We are in the realm of success at the highest of high school in football at this time, as it was in the past in other times, and therefore it's going to take a management of the success that we're having, increased discipline, increased confidence and hard work, and we believe that we'll make it. Passing the quarterfinal or in the quarterfinal is a great success for us and we appreciate it. We will give hats up to the boys and the coaching staff because it's, it's been a rough task. He's very understanding, he is experienced, he knows how to deal with the young people and he has worked well with them so it has augured well for the team, the camaraderie, the spirit and the development of the team itself. It's not all about winning at all costs. It's about winning, you know, when you when you put in hard work, you expect in return. You know, and that's the way, that's the way forward, that's the way we go, that's the the belief that them have, you know, and as a coach, you know, you want to to to, to give them that, you know, that winning mentality and you know they deliver, they deliver on the day. It's a great feeling to know that we're going to quarterfinal for the first time. Yeah, it's a great feeling. Yes, but when I want to do it, I go far, ain't it? It means a lot to me, knowing that it's my first time playing for the school and reach this far. It means a lot. It takes hard work and dedication, like, from the start to here. So it just need more hard work and dedication. Lift up our head and God. Sometimes we know the team them uh, that we play are sometimes better than us. You know, we must give them that. You know, and, and team that established in the league win Manning Cup various uh, times and so on. So we are trying to build a build a, a winning mentality at Silasi, and we are trying to get there. You know, but we know we we must creep before we walk, and uh, Silasi is keep uh, is doing that, and we will keep grounded, and you know we will always respect the bigger heads, the bigger teams, and so on. But we will fight them to the end. Time for us now to talk to some fans from both schools. I have uh, two young men from Jamaica College on my right, two young men from Haley Selassie on my left. Let's start with Haley Selassie, as you just saw them in this team feature. Introduce yourself to the people. Okay, my name is Jai. Okay, my name is Shakib Palmer. Yeah, Palmer is the name that he likes to be referred to. So let's start with Haley Selassie. Uh, Jaheem, how has your team been doing thus, this far this season? This far this season, they are doing tremendously good, you know. And I'm expecting them, expecting them to come here to and give us a cheap hand. Palmer, is this the first team match that you're watching for this season? No, sir. And what have you think? What do you think about what you've seen so far? Feel happy, sir. Say, might be with Manning Cup in this year. Yeah. Well, the captain Joshua Dewar said that he wanted to make the school proud. Has he done that so far? Yeah, he has done that because, um, as I check the calculation, this is for the school. I've ever, ever entered in the Manning Cup, so it's glad to know that I'm really proud that he has made his mark for Ailes Lassie.
Right. And uh, you play against Jamaica College, a team that has won 30 times this uh, this championship 30 times. Do you think, though, that you can slay the Giants here today? And uh, give me a scoreline. Yes, sir. Yeah? Uh, by how much? Give me a scoreline. Uh, three, three nil. Three nil. Yeah. Yes. So you're expecting a good performance from your team, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Jamaica College, let's head over now to this camp. They say that they're going to beat you 3-0. Do you agree with that? No, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> My, his name is Zinedine, as in Zidane, but his last name, your last name isn't Zidane, is it? McLean. It's McLean. So Zinedine, your favorite footballer? Yes, sir. He is? Iman Bukayo Saka. All right. So, who, which players on that Jamaica College team compare to your two favorite players? Um, Makwan Aldridge and Dylan John. All right. So, let's, let's, let's talk to you for a minute. Haley Salasi says 3 0. Your partner here, your schoolmate says he doesn't agree with that. Why shouldn't he agree with that? Because, as he said, it, it's impossible. Impossible? It's impossible. And why is it impossible? Is it that they're not as good, or do you think that you're just superior? No, I'm not saying they're not as good, but we are just too good. <laughs> you're too good? Yeah, we are just too good. Uh, what I think, I think this is an exciting. You have played FIFA 21, right? Yes, I have. 22, 23, yeah. yeah. This is an exciting. So. Ex okay, okay. <laughs> so give me your predictions. What's, what's the scoreline going to be like? Well, I'm not going to be dis disrespectful to Haley Selassie, but what I think the score will be is like around 5 nil. Five. And you say how much? Six. Six. All right. So we have five, six, and we have three. They were being modest and humble. But what's the? Is, you really think it's going to be three now or more? Well, for me, I will not rush. I will just say the hard work showed there. Um, who wants it the most? We really put out the work out there. Well said. That's how we end it here. And of course, you know, Easter Schoolboy football is shown throughout 26 territories across the region and further, uh, thanks to our sister station, Scene TV. And of course, that means we inspire young players from across the Caribbean to want to come to Jamaica and play football here. And uh, we will meet one of those players right now. He's from Trinidad and Tobago. Let's take a look at this team feature. Benny, a native of the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Alec attends Jamaica College and plays in the Issa Manning Cup. He was able to run really fast, so he got into the game like really, really well, really, really quickly. Um, he loves all the sports, so he can do almost anything. Um, he's a pure athlete. Life back home is mainly about football and doing schoolwork. Went back home football again, eat, sleep, drink football. Came here to further my studies and to play Manning Cup. Due to, I was watching Manning Cup for the past years with Tyreek McGee, and he inspired me to come to Jamaica College. My sons, I think, need to be well-rounded individuals, and they seem to have good intentions for student athletes. After I was comfortable with what they were offering for him, it was a very easy choice for me. My big brother is a footballer. He inspired me to become a footballer also. He credits me because maybe, you know, growing up, I always used to scream at him. You know, a lot, scream at him a lot, and tell him that, you know, he has to do better, and he always say one day he'll be better than me. He's like really good really of the game, and very quick of the ball at his feet. Um, it's something I don't see with much players anymore. I coach young kids, and now I have Shea and Alec to show them, like listen, this is where you all can go also. Even if they don't go fully professional, it's still a nice journey. When he left, his only problem was actually scoring goals. I have seen so far that in two games he has scored twice. I hope he um, continues that because that was he always likes being their sister. But I, I want him to take some more responsibility and start to finish off a lot of the chances that he creates. He can also take some of them himself. I think this decision sending him to Jamaica it was the right one. He looks totally different, totally different player. But I think after school, I would like to see him you know, go pro. I think he has the ability to, to go straight to the top. from Trinidad and Tobago and his dad is super proud of seeing him here in Jamaica. His dad believes that he has arrived and that just goes to show that 
as long as we continue to do good work and expose the Caribbean to what talent is here, we can do great things. Definitely, Gerard. And you, I know someone like you would resonate with something like that, you know, being from Barbados and, you know, the pride that comes with doing a job like this, yeah. even so, you know. So it really speaks to schoolboy football and what the product means. Yeah, well, it's break time. When we come back, we'll be looking at these two teams and their journeys towards the quarterfinals. Don't go anywhere. I got a mortgage customized to fit me. Same day pre approval on my loan. Wow! Lower mortgage payments, so I have money to do more of the things that matter. Happiness is owning my own crib. Take advantage of our same day mortgage pre approval plus customized financing of up to 100% and enjoy low monthly payments. Happiness is home. Own it with BMBS. We're here for you We are written into this land You are written into a story Together stronger we stand You win is a victory We're a firm foundation We stay Build you a brighter way Transform your everyday Transform your BM everyday BM Group Transform your everyday On a Saturday, Charlotte Hornets lay host Miami Heat, and that match starts at 8 p.m. 9 in the Eastern Caribbean. Welcome back to the Stadium East Field for Easter Schoolboy Football Action, the Money Cup quarterfinals going on. Group B will be on show here today. We have first up Haley Selassie coming up against Jamaica College and the Kimani. This one is going to be one that we should watch very closely. Two teams, Haley Selassie looking to bounce back from their loss against St. Andrew Technical High School and the Jamaica College looking to continue their good form and make it into the semifinals yet again. Definitely, Gerard. And what we're going to do now is really important because the form table really Really gives you an idea of what these teams are coming in with you know so we're just going to do that now and we'll add some context for our viewers yeah well Haley Selassie they finished the group stage very strongly and uh, beating Bridgeport 3-0 which secured their second spot in the group and then in the round of 16 they managed to overcome Excelsior beating them 1-0 in the first leg of that round of 16 and then join here against them well join with them 1-1 and then they would have took the 2-1 aggregate score uh, with them to this stage and they lost very narrowly against St. Andrew Technical High. They were leading 2-1 at one stage, but two goals uh, St. Andrew were able to find, and they won that one at 3-2. Plenty of good positives to take from that game. You know, as you said, being up 2-1, but we have to look at the other side of things. Let's look at the forum table for Jamaica College. You know, they come into this one off the back of that win against Woolmers, 4-1, a very big win especially given the stature of both schools yeah Womers will be in action here today later on against St. Andrew Technical High School and of course yeah uh, they finished out against St. Catherine in the first round 1-1 that match would have been on our, on your home of champions but uh you know, we had to cut short early because Very rainy match. Rainy match. <laughs> Just as last season, the last day of the first round yeah. uh, ended with some rain, but uh, they would have won 5 nil and 1 nil against Norman Manley. So they're, they're in pretty good form. They are in, in good form, and, and Haley Selassie would be wary of that, but let's see what they have in store. 
So a win for Jamaica College would secure their semi-final berth. And Stats are in a similar position, but a win here for Haiti Selassie will keep the group very, very open. And uh, they can actually join Stats with three points. And the Wilmers boys, uh, they will be hoping that they can get their first couple of points for this group, well, for this group in Group B. And of course, they'll be hoping that they can win. Well, so it's going to be a very interesting day. Jamaica College, they have history against uh, this team. Not much history, but uh, yeah, it's in their favor. So we'll see how things go. And on St. Andrew Technical, we'll be hoping that they can uh, just, when they meet Jamaica College, they'll be hoping uh, that they can just play for a spot in the, in the group. Definitely. So these are the fixtures on for today and Wednesday in Group B. Haley Selassie, they play against Jamaica College and uh, Stats play Wilmer's Boys as here in Group B and in Group A on a Wednesday, which will also be live on the home of champions. Charlie Smith, they play against Kingston College. That's going to be a good, good match. And Mona High, they play against St. George's College, which will be another interesting fixture. And it's all that's how we reach the quarterfinal stage. So many mouth-watering fixtures, Gerard. But back to today's matchup. We'll be looking at the head-to-head -head between these two teams. There, Haley Selassie losing 2-0 to Jamaica College. And this was in the 2016 Walker Cup semi-final. Semi-final. So, Haley Selassie, they do know how to get into the semi-final. Uh, but they, they, they suffered a fate against Jamaica College that they hope that they can't, that they won't uh, face here today. They will look to rewrite history. And Jamaica College will look to use history to their advantage and win here again today but Haley Selassie they've come with a mission so too did Jamaica College so it's going to be a good game let's learn a little bit now about Haley Selassie the foundation stone was laid by the emperor himself the late emperor back in 1966 when he visited for just three days back in April and uh, 53 years they celebrate this year Go brown and gold are the colors at this sport and they have a small school population of 918 still bigger than some of the schools in Barbados might I add and the Manic Cup yet to win one and also yet to win a Walker Cup but they've come very close uh, reaching the quarterfinals this season and their motto simply says learning for a living Kimani spoke to their coach Linville Dixon who has such an impact on the boys let's hear from him now Coach, not the best of starts so far, losing to Stats 3-2. What positives are you taking from that game into this one? All right, um, there's a lot of positives to take from the last game. Um, we played very well, but unfortunately, we come out and losing in. Um, in the last game, we just did not put away the chance in that to create. But today, hopefully, um, we're here to play. And at the end of the day, we are, we are hoping that everything goes our way today. You face firm competition in a Jamaica College team that has been impressive up to this point. What do you know about that team? <laughs> well, um, I know that this Jamaica College team is a, a team that will pass around the football. So we just have to be patient today, allow them to pass it around the defensive unit and then press them um, and see what we can create from it. Speak to us about the season holistically. Have you met those objectives you have set out to achieve before the season has begun? Alright, one of the, the main objectives was to come out of the zone and we have, we have achieved that already. Um, we, we are aiming to see what we can get from this Manning Cup. Um, we want to leave it as silverware. Um, we say to the players today that this is it. Um, we, we cannot motivate anymore. You know the task at hand today, so just come out and play. Let's look now at the digital player to watch for Haley Selassie. His name is Janai Lawrence, a 18-year-old at number 19. We've seen him in action already and he commands the middle of the park and he would hope that he can continue that good path. We saw a goal from him submitted from a fan uh, earlier this season. So he has the ability to score goals as well as uh, create the chances to score goals. So he'll be hoping that he can continue that today and uh, produce something special for Haley Selassie. Most definitely, Gerard. But against him today, he has some work to do because he's facing an outfit from in the form of Jamaica College. I will take a look at some of their school facts. Here we see that they were founded in 1789, 233 years of existence. Their colors are the popular navy and white. Their population is 1,870. They have a rose in 30 Manning Cups, the most by any school in the Manning Cup. And their motto is, may the college flourish, work burning in the fields. Gerard had a chance to speak with their coach, Ferguson. Here's what he had to say. Coach, down to the final eight, uh, looking to continue along that good form that you've been having so far this season. What's the mood in the camp like? 
Um, I think the mood is good. Definitely their incentive is actually to be qualified for the semi-finals after today. We know it won't be an easy game. Um, Celeste is a very good team, experienced coach, experienced um, staff as a whole. So we expect a very difficult game. Yeah, well, you were very clear about JC's intention this season to win back the coveted Manning Cup, and uh, you've captured 30 times before. And uh, how is the plan going along so far to win it back for the 31st time? Well, so far, so good. Um, I think the focus now is just on today. Um, the last game against Walmart that is behind us now. We have Selassie today, and once we win this game, we're actually into the semi finals, which is definitely an objective of ours. And I think from there on in we can prepare for the semi-finals and, and the finals potentially from there. Well, Theresa Minis is back in the lineup, and uh, how has he been readjusting to the squad and how has he been uplifted the match throughout the game for this, this team? Um, to be honest, he was always there. Um, he was in and out basically, but I think the key for him is when we decided to use him. Um, as with some other players, we had some niggles, we had some concerns. Um, the first round for us was not that difficult, so we, we could have gone through that round um, with the squad that we had. But in terms of moving forward now, um, he has given us an impetus. The, the intensity, the drive, the motivation in the squad is very high and we are so glad to have him back here. We'll be taking a look at our water player to watch. He is none other than Maquan Aldridge, formerly of Kingston Technical. He now wears the navy blue of Jamaica College. This is his second season. He plays as a forward, nine appearances, sporting six goals. They'll definitely be looking to him to lead from the middle of the park and up front because he's a very versatile player, Gerard. Yeah, well, <laughs> the Zinedine player said that he, he reminds him of Zidane and uh, he'll be hoping that he can give us Zidane-like performance, they right? choose to fill <laughs> yeah. So we'll take a break now. When we come back, our commentary team will have all the action for you. Don't go anywhere. Donald Oliver, he's waiting with the Jay Williams and uh, you will wait for the action. Don't go anywhere. Break time. the big boys it's all about the big boys now as the Manning Cup continues the quarterfinal round Haile Selassie against many time champions Jamaica College it seems as if it's a mismatch on paper but with football at this stage you really can never know because they can easily come to the party 
it will be the second time that we'll be seeing Jamaica College although we didn't show them in all their glory they were trying to produce on a water dog outfield against St. Catherine High and let's just say they failed to produce uh, that magic under those conditions but in this round they are really trying to make their mark they're really trying to stamp their class and against this Hallis Lassie team that really aim to punch way above their weight they know that it is time to step up and be counted in this quarterfinal round group wherever you're watching all of the world thank you so much for joining our coverage my name is Donald Oliver I'm with LeJ Williams I'm going to ask his thoughts on these two teams meeting up this afternoon here at the Stadium East well, our host spoke about David versus Goliath, and that's exactly what this is. You have Jamaica College, who have won the Manning Cup 30 times. The most winning, the team that has won the most Manning Cups in Jamaican schoolboy football history, going up against Haile Selassie, who have never made it to even the quarterfinals. This is their first time making it to the quarterfinals. And they're going up against a team with this prestige. It's always going to be a tough ask for them. You're going to see the name shortly, and you're probably going to notice the disparity. But right now, they are level. Oh, so level. As the quarterfinal round continues for these two teams, Hallis Lassie in a must-win situation, and Jamaica College, well, they've been cruising so far. Will they get another stern test? That's the question. How will they live up to not only the test, but the expectations of a season? They fell short last term, and it was close. It was on penalties right here at the National Stadium East Field. Now they aim to just blow everybody away, and they have the stars to do so as they meet the highest Lassie team as they make their way across. But what a matchup! What intent we expect yeah. to see from the many time champions, Jamaica College. They have a couple of new names in their squad, but the majority of them are players who would have learnt last year's lesson. And can they not only put it out of their mind, but uh, take it as fuel? Carl Tyrell is the man in the middle. Kibu Williams, the fourth official. Rolanza Bennett and Andre Smith are the assistant referees this afternoon. There is Jamaica College as we take a look. Well, we'll, we'll see their starting lineup in just a little while, but the captains are out for the toss. Xavier Davidson, the captain of uh, JC, but we're going to go through the Haile Selassie lineup right now. Kevin Hibbert is in goal, Kimani Richards, Jerrain Selvin, Kyle Williams, Dimitri Burton, and Kishon Valentine will form a back five at least at the very start of the game. In the middle of the park, Sudre Hepburn, Jamon Payne, and Joshua Dwar behind the strikers, Raul Dadaya, and Johnny Lawrence, who has five goals and three assists to his name so far this season. Yeah, it's a defensive lineup. They'll be hoping to nullify the threat that Jamaica College bring and try and get a result this afternoon. There is Jamaica College and there's a big name, Tariq Ziminis. We knew him from last year, has represented Jamaica on a couple of occasions and he's now in the starting lineup for the first time this season. Rasika Rose in goal. Renson Sales Jr., another international from St. Vincent, playing at the back alongside Romaine Blake, Xavier Davidson, the skipper, and Dante Wines. In the middle of the park, Saviola Blake, Jamali Bennett, and Kevon Wilson, the son of one Kevin Pele Wilson, up top. Maquan Aldridge, Javier Lynch, and of course, the aforementioned Tariq Ziminiz. Would Jamaican College have been a, a, an attacking force this season they have they are the highest scorers in the competition thus far scoring in excess of 50 goals and they've added attacking impetus with that national player there Tyreek Ziminis looking to add his quality to this already loaded starting 11 and even the bench as well there is Wilson to kick off for Jamaica College they'll be kicking towards downtown Kingston and towards the Caribbean Sea how this last will be kicking in the other direction towards the Blue Mountain Range and towards uptown Kingston. So, in the first few minutes here, Halis Lassie will be hoping to repel any charge from JC, who are very much the possession based unit.
trying to get McCone Aldridge involved. We knew for, for several months that this was on the cards for McCone Aldridge to move from Kingston Technical to Jamaica College. And eager to make our supporters out in their numbers. As they always are. There's always an interesting dynamic when you see a son trying to follow in his father's footsteps. And uh, Kevon Wilson, JC's number 10. Well, he has some big shoes to fill. His father, Kevin Pelle Wilson, a legend in his own right for both Chad Smith and for Arnett Gardens. He's coming from Mount Pleasant Academy and he's eager to make his mark this season. Already nine assists to his name as well as seven goals. And uh, on the the spotlight of a television audience how will he be able to handle that pressure as well as this JC team as well it's Hadis Lassie on the charge though Selvin here he is on the ball it may feel like an away fixture for JC for the next few minutes I can tell you that yeah although they are the team that are close in geographical location the National Stadium East Field. Haile Selassie always travel well, a very well supported team, has the support of their entire community and especially a winning team is a well supported team and that's what they've been doing, they've been very successful so far this season. Saviola Blake finding his skipper Davidson, they call him Van Dyke. I'm assuming because of his height and his defensive capabilities, Davidson. And he has a number to match, that famous number four there's Linville Dixon, the head coach of Heidi Selassie, who would have also been busy last evening. It was a television game in the Jamaica Premier League at Arnett Gardens as his side, Veer United, held uh, Port United at the Tony Spalding Sports Complex. Ziminis with a, a turn and uh, trying to go through a, a next defender very used to playing in a right back position I don't think he's altogether comfortable playing in the right wing and you can see that he's already playing a little bit deeper than normal in that right back position yeah but with a player of his attacking quality especially at the schoolboy level the youth level he, he'll always feel a tad bit wasted playing at right back according oh, to some coaches oh that's a lovely turn and needs a good ball inside couldn't quite get it correctly there's Trying to get the ball inside the area, Jamali Bennett. But uh, a corner kick for JC in the end. How many players are going to send forward now? It's five players forward. Trying to get on the end of this one from Wilson, and it's easily handled. He'll have another opportunity to send in a better delivery. The wind is behind him. So just need a little bit more elevation here, Wilson. And he does get it. It's Davidson still in control. Lynch trying to win it. And it's booted away by Hylis Lassie, who had numbers back. Lynch is going to be a very, very, as we see, coach. Davian Ferguson for Jamaica College. Javier Lynch is going to be a very, very important player for Jamaica College this season. Had unfortunate injury last season that didn't allow him to play the amount of games, the number of games that he would have liked. A lot of people also said that if he was fit and fine for the entire season, Jamaica College would have beaten Kingston College in that final. So he's already done 11 goals this season, six assists to go along with that. So if he says fit and firing, Jamaica College definitely can feel confident about not only getting back to the Manning Cup final, but also winning it as well. Wilmer's boys' loss, loss was certainly Jamaica College's gain a couple of seasons ago when Lynch made the transfer. I'm sure his mother, Tana Gray, must be in the stands because he's at every game, must be proud with his achievements so far. Lynch with 11 goals and 6 assists to his name has been a, a 
pivotal player for JC. They have to do some defending now. Alice Lassie with the ball to the edge of the box. They have some space to work with, you know. If they can only go through, and they do! Oh, but the shot is a team effort! And the keeper manages to clear. Was it Ralda Dyer? In the area for Haile Selassie. Probably could not believe his luck that he was through on goal there. And that is going to be the source. As we see, it, it just could not break for him. It finally broke for him. The shot was tame in the end, as you said. But that's going to be the source of how Haile Selassie can look to attack. Well, Aldridge on the ball now, cutting inside. McCon Aldridge lays it inside. Oh, that's a wonderful ball, you know, but that's some good defending. Really is. He was thrown off just a little bit because of a slight touch that he received. Jamali Bennett had he, as he made his way inside the area. Excellent play there by Maquan Aldridge. But the defending was really good. So many national players on show here in this game. Of course, majority of them from Jamaica College. All of them, really. Extremely talented squad. They're trying to play around with it now. And Dante Wines just allowing that to go for a throw. Here's JC again. Aldrich picks it up. Heads to the byline. Three waiting. And it goes behind for a goal kick. Attempted an extremely skillful cross there, the Rabona. Reluctant to use his left foot there. As we see, that was lovely skill, but that one just drifted over the crossbar. Zimini is trying to ghosting at that back post the but ball is already ghosted out though <laughs> that was always going to be awkward but he did well in the end Davidson and uh, Rasiko Rose is going to need some attention a little bit of a coming together there that involved Raldo Dyer you can see coach Ferguson very animated on the bench he was trying to tell his center back Davidson to put his body position his body in front of the striker to avoid a collision like that putting your keeper at risk because a spillage could have easily have happened there allowed the striker to have an easy tap in and, and not only that the header wasn't a really strong one that as well as a defender especially if your nickname is Van Dyke you have to have your wits about you at all times but they escaped without conceding so that's always a job well done Oh, it has gone through again. Bennett. Couldn't quite gather. There's some strong defending again from Kyle Williams, who's played the sweeper role this afternoon for Haile Selassie. Always an extremely pivotal role when it comes down to any five at the back system. Marshalling the defense. Taking control of all the positions. Oh, Blake almost put Davidson in some trouble, but uh, Rose was aware on that occasion Aldridge coming in from an, coming back from an outside position usually a swirling breeze here at the St. East Field presently it's in favour of Alice Lassie you could say blowing behind them right in their backs they send the free kick long Handled well by Romain Blake. National under 20 representative over the summer. He really is a cool customer as well, isn't he? When you speak about ball playing centre backs and you speak about the Manning Cup, his name has to be the first name brought up. He really is fantastic on the ball. Let's not talk about height though, because that has been a, a, controversial, a controversial issue when speaking about centre backs and height usually plays in the middle of the park as well as a holding midfielder the question is out there is he better as a holding midfielder or as a centre-back uh, 
I mean, I personally think that height, in some instances, is an overrated aspect because when you look at even international football, there was there there there's been many short short that's excellent skill by McQuan Aldridge. Yep, Aldridge tried to go through and the interception is made by Halis last year, but you're making the point? Yeah, there's been a, a myriad of short centre backs or shorter centre backs that people wouldn't even think about being short. You think about even to the eighties, nineties with Franco Baresi and his brother as well who were very accomplished. I think it as long as you have a level of aggression and you're very intelligent on the ball and you're intelligent with your positioning, the height is not always going to be an issue. You speak about the English Premier League now, Lissandra Martinez has been one of the premier centre-backs in the division. Here's Wilson trying to make his way inside the box. Get some help from Bennett. Bennett sends his high, it's too long as well. And it goes out for a goal kick. So as you, as you can see there, I think Romain Blake will be just fine as long as he keeps his head and as long as he is very intelligent in what he does. I think he definitely can be successful in that position, but it helps that he is also versatile enough to play in other positions for the future if he does decide to play football professionally, which he definitely does have the talent to do so. Well, nevertheless, it seems to be a good compliment to Davidson, who is some way taller than he is. Yeah, that definitely helps as well. <laughs> But the game evolves. We can say that with certainty. And uh, the game will continue to change. And it's just a matter of you if, if you'll be able to adapt, regardless of your height. And that play that we saw right there was a method of that adaption that, we, that we're seeing. The left wing back inverting, coming very narrow in the field there to win that fall. Here's Bennett cutting inside. Bennett feeds it inside to uh, Tariq Ziminis. Ziminis sends it back out wide. Needs a, a good ball inside. They decide to play it around the box. Wines gets it back. Blake sends this one inside the area. They are screaming for a handball. Nothing doing there. They are playing so high up the pitch, Jamaica College. You're trying really to constrict Haile Selassie in the process. Really squeezing the field, giving Haile Selassie really nothing to do but sit back. Almost forcing them into contempt. Well, Blake touches it inside. Wilson to Ziminis. Ziminis' effort is over the top. Another question that has to be answered, seeing that Ziminis hasn't been with the squad all season is how will he adapt yes he played there last season to a very high level but how will he adapt coming back into the team into a team that has been playing so well will it, will it be a smooth transition Dave and Ferguson spoke about the fact that because of the squad they were able to rotate and they have been able to rotate well to go through the group felt that he could have handled it or felt that the team could have handled it Alice Les trying to come forward again through Johnny Lawrence. We haven't seen a lot from Lawrence. The Alice Lassie fans were screaming for a free kick. Aldridge. <laughs> Nicely done. If it's one thing about Haile Selassie, however, when they do have the ball, yes, they might not have a lot of it in this game, but when they do have the ball, they will be very composed in possession and they will all, always be looking to create chances. That, that for real, yep. Ziminis, first touch inside and not the best on that occasion from Wilson, yep. So Haile Selassie will be open to keep their discipline. Blake was in the right place there. Wilson picks it up deep and runs into space, finding Aldridge. 
Aldridge Ziminis trying to play it back inside to Aldridge it's kept alive by Lynch it's headed away here is Wilson Wilson easily handled by Kevin Hibbert we're seeing that Dewar needs some aid it is a hot day I have a feeling a lot of these players are going to need some attention at some point or another, especially the highly Selassie ones who are having to be very active in how they're playing today. There's a misconception that teams that are without the ball don't expend as much energy. They probably expend more. It's much more because you're chasing the ball. You have to be reactive as opposed to proactive as the JC players are. They will always want to keep the ball and be in control of what the game is doing. So it's always going to be extremely difficult for a team like Haile Selassie. As you see the shot coming comfortably dealt with there. Yeah, Hibbert would have seen a little bit of a deflection. Probably aided him in the end. That shot from Wilson. The yes, way sir. he moves on the field though reminds me so much of his father. Just silky, smooth and at the same time very quick. Very deceptively quick as well. Yes, yep. Mm hmm. Of course, his father would have won the Manning Cup for Charlie Smith in the 90s and uh, won the Premier League with Arnett Guns not too long after. Really formed a legacy with both those institutions. Yeah, Kevin Wills. Kevin Wills also scored for Jamaica at the National Stadium. Uh, as I think that was in 1997 that game ended one all at the National Stadium. Or if not 97, it would have been 1995 as a schoolboy. So he got his breakthrough pretty early. Ball played inside the area. Oh, that's a wonderful header from Aldridge and a good save from Hibbert. That was a teasing delivery. McCon Aldridge got there, got a firm head on it, but couldn't direct it either, either side of Hibbert. Blake doing well in shielding that one. It's a goal kick to JC. There was the ball inside for Aldridge, who made it relatively well, you know. It's a delightful ball, wasn't it? But was Hibbert a, was equal to the task. It was a very instinctive save. Just put a hand out, got there. Hibbert has been very impressive so far this season, generally. Made some excellent saves against Excelsior last week. Seeing a lot of positional rotation by Jamaica College so far. A constant threat is Tyreek Zimini is dropping into the midfield as you see him there. And Jamal Benny taking up his position on the right wing. An extremely... An extremely well-coached unit, Jamaica College. Wines. Aldridge will retrieve. Trying to take on Valentine. At the clearance in the end by Dimitri Burton. Lynch. Wilson. Back to Lynch. Trying to thread through to Bennett who throws out wide. Now it goes the other way. Alice Lassie can they make something out of this through Dyer. So smooth. Blake intercepting. Kian Ziminis. Kian Ziminis swap positions there for a second. This is picked up by Dyer. Dyer gets it back. It's inside the box. 
Oh, JC, they just managed to get away with that one. And again, hesitancy from Raul de Dyer has cost his team here. Yeah, he's just not looking to pull the trigger as quickly as he should. And when he does, it's a tame effort. Maybe more aggression is needed in how he's approaching the ball. Because these opportunities won't come often in this game. No, it won't. Wilson skips by one challenge, or at least that was a, the aim. <laughs> but it was quite a, a forceful effort there. Wines almost got through, but it's picked up by Bennett. And now Wilson trying to scoop it to Aldridge. Wilson gets it back. It's put into touch. Yeah, he held on to it for so long. Didn't need to hold on to it for that long. Should have gotten his shot away earlier. Ziminis. Lynch will get there. Oh, heavy touch from Lynch as he tried to go the byline route. Players down for Hannes Lassie, and with that, both teams will take the official water break. Right smack in the middle of the first half. It's been an interesting contest so far. Yeah, it's been an extremely interesting contest. Context is contest. A lot of varying ideas being portrayed by both teams. Here's a. Here's a chance by Harry Selassie. That, that could have been a foul. But in the end, he just couldn't get his shot off. Jamaica College playing themselves into trouble on a couple occasions. This was one. Dyer just couldn't get his shot off. Wasn't quick enough. Maybe Dilly than Dali that had been too long on that one. But it is good to see that Harry Selassie are eking out these half chances. But they definitely do need to take one because this is a must win game for them. Having words with the striker there, Davian Ferguson. Probably just showing him how to hold up the ball a little bit more, especially when he's in that central area for JC. This is support that we we're telling you about. A lot of support for Haile Selassie. But it's an interesting game so far. Definitely an interesting game. Jaren Selvin is back on the field for Haile Selassie. So they're back to their full complement of 11. Sayers Jr. It's a lovely turn by Wilson. Bennett trying to find Aldridge. <laughs> I think Lynch and Aldridge had their wires crossed there. Alice Lassie have done very well in terms of nullify, nullifying the Jamaica College threat so far. There haven't been that many clear cut opportunities. Picked up well. And now the ball over the top looking for Lynch. Lynch making his way inside the box and tried to cut it back. I'm not sure why he didn't go for the glory himself. But Bennett 
has it Jamali Bennett trying to get the board inside the area it goes behind for a corner kick to JC yeah I think Lynch was a tad bit too unselfish there a, a, a striker's finish was needed there probably low and hard across the goalkeeper tried to cut it back Jamaica is now have a corner however let's see if they can make use of this Alice Lassie they've done well in standing up to the set pieces so far here's the delivery from Sayers Jr and the header is wide of the mark again it's coming from Lynch picked him out well there you can feel the pace of the game decreasing it's always difficult for youth players to keep up such an intense pace for the whole 90 minutes. You're going to see spurts of very does, intense football, but that doesn't mean it's beneficial for Haile Selassie, though, just to make that point. Because, yeah, they've been doing well in repelling everything that Jamaica College have had to offer, but they are tiring as well, and they can mentally tire and lose their discipline and their focus at the back. So it can go both ways in terms of how it could be detrimental. And that is the intention of Jamaica College. It's just to try and maintain their dominance, try and maintain their control in the final third and allow Haile Selassie to tire mentally and physically. And that's where the chances will creep in for them. Wines wins it. Finds Wilson. Wilson with the shot. Wilson! Oh, yes! The Wilson dynasty continues. And Kevon Wilson takes it up. His eighth goal this season. What a strike from JC's number 10. That strike was pure. What a strike. You saw him get the ball out of his body so quickly saw the space, drove into it and then drove a shot right into the top corner what a finish that was Kevin Hibbert, no chance at full stretch you want to hear the fans now, you silencing them Jamaica College 1 Haile Selassie nil. Well, that didn't take long after the water break. What a hit. Siobhan Wilson. Well, that's one way to introduce yourself to the international audience. Oh, and Lynch was alert with the interception, though not with the shot. It's over the top. And Lynch looking to come to the party as well. He's getting more and more lively as the game progresses, and that's not a good sign for Haile Selassie. You talk about them slipping up at the back, and them being meant to the tad. That was the point we were making just minutes before. And all of a sudden, with the crack, Jamaica College might now be thinking to break it down all the way. Yeah, and that, that, that's always going to be the worry when a team concedes. They're going to be a, a tad bit frayed after that point, especially when they're defending so well up until that point. So this is going to be a very pivotal 15 minutes or so for the rest of the first half of Haile Selassie to see if they can continue to ride the storm, really. As Maquan Aldridge doesn't keep that one in. They were trying to play it in and around the box to make a college. And they couldn't quite break down Haile Selassie. And uh, Kevon Wilson just tried one from distance. And it worked. His eighth this season. I'm sure that's one of his sweetest strikes for the season.
Here they come, JC Lynch. Not sure if he had enough real estate to do what he was trying to do on that occasion. Yeah, but he quickly realized that and tried to get a cross in. Got the corner. All's well that ends well. It's really hard to think of a time before Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Of course, Kevon Wilson's father, Kevin, his nickname would have been Pele. <laughs> of course, that name went around for most skillful persons in the island to use as the ball is sent inside. That's a wonderful header. And the flag is up. There was an infringement, actually. A push in the back from Davidson, maybe. He was the one who pulled off the header. Yeah, nickname Pele was one of the highest prestige in your time, of course, I I wouldn't know too much about that one. It, it, it's not too far away, Roger. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't let it sound like that. <laughs> so many times you can pick out gems of the past and you always have to wonder what could have been if they had the opportunity or if they had the discipline or if they had the support and most importantly in my opinion if they had the coaching yeah because the role of a coach is not only a tactical one it's also a, a nurturing one you get the feeling that in, re in regards to Kevon <laughs> Blake <laughs> oh that was Blake actually Oh, it was Blake, yep, who did well here after getting himself in into some trouble. Aldridge does well. As he usually does. Such a physical specimen he is. Oh, yeah. Wonderfully done. Then the final touch. A disappointment. Painful grin there after he ran that out of play. And there's a there's a very there's a very very um, accurate comparison I think there is to him in world football currently. The current AC Milan winger Rafael Leo, similarly strong, similarly quick, similarly skillful. Very similarly. <laughs> Maybe that's a player that in the future Macron Aldridge can model his game off. Zimini's robbed. Oh, nice. Pain. Has been able to really show his influence on the game so far. Pain scored a brilliant goal in the first game of the quarterfinal round against Stats. St. Andrew Technical. A left-footed thunderbolt. Basically the left-footed version of the goal that Kevin Wilson scored here today. But that midfield three of Haile Selassie, Dewar, Payne, and Kimani Richards, Hepburn as well, have been very influential this season. They have been able to do so today because they haven't had the ball. Bennett finding Aldridge. Aldridge. It's difficult to get the ball off him. <laughs> and uh, they were following him. It's taken quickly. Oh, wonderful turn. And the shot had to be held on to by Hibbert. Again, it's Wilson. Wants a little more power behind it. Slipped a tad bit before taking the shot there. Or else that one could have made it 2 0. Had to lean back to take that one. 
his family has really taken care to make, in their estimation, quality football decisions from early. He would have been at Mount Pleasant Academy, Kevon Wilson, in the hope that he could make a good transition. Obviously, they've gone to a plan B now. They figured that Jamaica College would be a good place to continue his learning and his growth in the sport. I'm sure there will always be a... As it's offside there against Lynch, I'm sure there will always be a pathway back to Mount Pleasant, however, for Kevon Wilson. Of course, his coach, current coach now at Jamaica College, is the assistant coach for the Mount Pleasant Premier League team. Mm -hmm. That might be that might have been a factor in decision as to why he even came to Jamaica College in the first place. No, he would have been he would have been there for about a year before. Here is Hadi Selassie again, Payne trying to make his way through the middle. Lynch with a little bit of space to work with. Oh, nicely done by Wilson. Getting by a second challenge. Lofts it high over the head of Lynch. Easily done by Blake. He does make defending look very easy. Yep. Wilson sends it across to Bennett. Jamali Bennett straight to Hibbert. Zimini was upset with the delivery. Here's Haile Selassie. Can they get one before the halftime interval? It's through pain. Quines Bennett Zimnies Blake Captain Davidson now. Wilson to Aldridge. Blake across to Bennett. Trying to play it through. Wines who had made the overlapping run. Romain Blake goes long. That's a good looking ball, you know, and Lynch. He had only eyes for the ball. <laughs> Hebert was an afterthought. There's a headband there that says faith over fear. He certainly had no fear there. <laughs> And neither did Kevin Hibbert, who definitely came off the worst from that challenge. So they have the advantage with just about five minutes to go to the interval to make a college they haven't really created a lot of clear cut opportunities JC but when facing a low block you need certain players you need talented players who are able to get shots off from range because you're not always going to be able to break that wall down and that's what they have they have players who have cultured feet 
and it's one of those cultured players with one of those cultured feet a cultured right foot in Kevin Wilson scoring his eighth of the season so he's a goal scorer Kevon Wilson the difference maker in this game so far Oh, that's a wonderful effort that tipped over the bar. Talk about a, a snapshot from distance. Johnny Lawrence almost made a, a big name for himself there with an outstanding attempt from long range. He hasn't had a lot of service in this game, so he decided to just take one on. And that was a very, very good attempt. But Rusty Rose was live to it, but they have a corner here, Haile Selassie. Here's the corner kick. Heads go up, and it goes behind for a goal kick this time to JC. But that still shows the danger of a one goal lead. Any mistake or any moment of quality by Haile Selassie, or if they. Um, make use of a Jamaica College mistake just like that they're back in the game it's going to be one all so Jamaica College have to be wary of that and try and get that second goal to put some comfort in their play in their lead I shouldn't say in their play because they have been very comfortable in their play so far as you can see by the goalkeeper advancing 25 yards from his line We're hearing that two minutes of stoppages will be played at the end of the 45 here. good time so far Richards lost it picked up by Lynch Wines Bennett Saviola Blake this is Sayers it's through to Aldridge Wines delivers at the back post on the volley. <laughs> Can tell he loves the spectacular. <laughs> but when you have talent like that, oh, I would love it too. As if he didn't dazzle us already, <laughs> Kevon Wilson. The words of the great late the late great Luther Vandross, never too much. Well, at least you are an old timer if not old. <laughs> well that's a clearance. As the time ticks along here, Donald, do you think that Haile Selassie will be content with only being down 1-0 against such a high-power team? 
You mean at the end of the first half? Yeah. At the end of the first half, yes. Probably content isn't the right word, but they'll be relatively satisfied with that. They're not out of the game. Although Zimini is doing his best to try to get a shot on target. Bennett. JC trying to get a second goal here before the interval. Just a few seconds left in the first half here. And Jamaica Kaju spend it like how they have spent most of the first half in possession of the ball. Wines with a final delivery inside the area. Lynch was surrounded by a couple of players immediately. And that's the last bit of action for the first half. A Kevon Wilson special is a difference maker so far in this contest. Jamaica College with the majority of the possession and they have been rewarded with a goal within the first stanza of this contest. They've been pleased with what's happened so far. And as they head into the break, they'll talk it over. Highly that they've had a couple of opportunities themselves, but they just haven't been able to take it. They have been patient, but they just haven't been clinical. And that's why the story of the first half sees JC in front by a goal to nil. I got a mortgage customized to fit me. Same day pre approval on my loan. Wow! Lower mortgage payments, so I have money to do more of the things that matter. Happiness is owning my own crib. Take advantage of our same day mortgage pre approval, plus customized financing of up to 100%, and enjoy low monthly payments. Happiness is home. Own it with BMBS. 
at the box and then just hesitancy again costing him in the end inside the area and just a quicker mind and quicker feet as well would have possibly been the difference maker what was the difference maker though it came in the 28th minute Kevon Wilson bang wonderful shot outside the box Hebert had well little response really out of his reach and that really was a fabulous goal by Kevon Wilson his eighth this season JC they're looking for more Wilson in particular again that didn't have as uh, much power as his attempt previously Alice Lassie again with an opportunity that was a fabulous save you know from Rassica Rose wonderful effort there from Johnny Lawrence and that would have been some equalizer had he gone in and we have the statistics for the first half it's been 10 shots between both teams but it's been uneven it's been 8 to Jamaica College 2 to Haile Selassie 4 shots on target for Jamaica College 2 as well for Haile Selassie there's been 10 fouls between both teams no yellow cards no reds 2 offsides for Jamaica College to go along with their 4 corners and the 1 for Haile Selassie Haile Selassie keeper Hibbert has had to make 3 saves Jamaica College keeper Rose has made 2 but the possession is definitely in the favour of Jamaica College 59% to Haile Selassie is 41 but the most important score it's the 1-0 to Jamaica College and it's time for the water break from the fans let's go to Gerard Thanks a lot, Leje and uh, Donald. Well, it's uh, one and a half time in favor of Jamaica College. And online on our YouTube page, Scene TV, uh, the fans have had a lot to say. And I'm going to share with you some of what they had to say about the the goal that was scored by Young Wilson. Brain Drain says, not bad. Tyreek McGee would be proud. And uh, Moss Multimedia says, good technique. And uh, Just One Fry Eye says, uh, Salasi now play like how them played against Stats. So he's not convinced that they're playing as good a football as they can and uh, we Matt Sick Football says I've said at least I've said JC at least 3-1 JC wins of course but I miss but I must big up the Sahili Selassie team and uh, a question for our viewers from Brain Drain which team will make the semi-finals let us know which teams you think will make the semi-finals let's head now to the stands he's well there Kamani is up there in the stands with the fans let's hear what they have to say Thank you, Gerard. I am here with fans from both Haile Selassie and Jamaica College. I'm going to start with Haile Selassie first. You guys are down 1-0. Not that far. Do you think you guys can come back into it? Of course. Absolutely. Surely, because um, the match is not finished. And I'm, pr I'm sure that we can come through. We can pull through. And this is amazing but it is just the beginning and whatever happens where I'm here to support my team and I'm here to support them also and that's very good but I still have to this and we are going win we are going win we are going Alright, so Haile Selassie, they have a lot of support here. We have to look at Jamaica College, they're up 1-0. Gents in the true blue, how do you guys feel so far? Yes, you know, out here to support, very cool, because I lead one, yes, yes, it's a nice feeling, you know. Do you guys think you're going to score more? Give me a scoreline at the end of the match. Well, I mean like 4-0, because, you know, after some changes, you know, we're going to come back and go harder for more. So, you know, three more going in the second half. Alright, so, thank you. Both teams are very confident right now. When we come back, we have more schoolboy football action here on Sportsman. <laughs>
eager action to the forward to on Wednesday. Sevilla against Real Sociedad, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. ECT on Sportsmax 2. And uh, also on Wednesday at 3.30 p.m., 4.30 p.m. ECT at Mallorca, they take on Atletico Madrid. Back at the National Stadium East Field, Jamaica College, they lead Harris Lassie by a goal to nil. Kevon Wilson with a strike as we're about to embark on the journey of the second half here between these two teams. It's going to be Haida Selassie with a kickoff. They're going to be kicking towards the Caribbean Sea and to downtown Kingston. JC will be playing towards the Blue Mountain range. They've been relatively comfortable. Jamaica College in this fixture. Yeah, they have been very comfortable, I, I think, so far. A couple of chances for Haile Selassie, but they have been half chances. Jamaica, Jamaica College have been very positive in possession, working around the ball, and in turn working around the Haile Selassie team. They've been chasing goals for majority of the game, so another goal, and it will really prove their dominance so far. Hope Football looking for Wilson and Bennett. Too much coming from Wines on that occasion. Haile Selassie, if they can't win, I'm sure they won't be afraid to play spoilers in this group. Most definitely. They'll have a lot to play for. This is It's their first time being here. I'm sure they won't just want to be passengers no matter the result today in their next game. This is Renson Sales Jr. Haven't seen a whole lot from him. But Sales Jr. is a, another young man who has made his mark on the international stage. The number 16 for JC, representing St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the process. is played for St. Vincent right throughout the youth levels and now applies his trade at the schoolboy football level in Jamaica. I suspect that he really wants to push himself as much as possible at this age if there is no setup that could accommodate him playing football regularly in St. Vincent. He's a very, very intelligent player, constantly inverting, adding an extra body to the midfield, which is what a lot of these coaches like nowadays. He's very intelligent, good on both feet, comfortable in multiple areas of the pitch but also never shirks away from his defensive responsibilities. So, a, a, a very good asset for the Jamaica College team to have. Likes playing in the middle of the park as well. Actually, that's his preferred position. But of course, with the promise of him being able to articulate himself on the field as to the specific way you just described with the fullbacks coming into the middle of the park, I'm sure he, he welcomed that. Yeah, definitely. A lot of these inverted fullbacks that we see in modern football a lot of them started out as central midfielders because you need that to be comfortable in the middle of the field but you also have to have a lot of defensive strength still so once you have that combination it's always going to be a match made in heaven when it comes down to these type of players and there's a mastermind of it all coach Davian Ferguson it's never a comfortable seat for Davian Ferguson I can tell you that even with the success of a couple of seasons ago, there were question marks over him as to whether he was indeed the right person for the job. In a job like Jamaica College, that's probably the most high-pressure job you can have. Yep, even with, even with him winning, they were like, well, it wasn't smooth, it wasn't comfortable, Yeah, they, it was iffy. They, they want utter domination, that it's either utter domination or nothing at all. So... It's a high-pressure job, but I'm sure he welcomes the challenge. And this season, they've been nothing but dominant so far, scoring the most goals cumulatively in Mining Cup this season. I said in excess of 50, that was doing them a disservice because the goal that Kevin Wilson scored this afternoon was their 68th across all competitions so far. So... 
they're really a juggernaut in front of goal but in addition to that they're also extremely economical defensively in all they've only conceded four goals across all competitions as well so what's that a plus 64 goal difference across all of their games in the Manning Cup of course not all competitions they haven't gotten to the Champions Cup as yet they're not going to be playing in the Walker Cup I guess that makes it more impressive even more so <laughs> because so far they've only played what this is their 14th game so they're averaging over four goals a game if my math served me right a while ago I hope it did it's not too bad Davidson Sayers Blake probably his first mistake of the afternoon but that hasn't really cost him Sayers goes long looking for Lynch just a little bit too much on it and the breeze did carry it away further from the striker Lynch always is a very willing run runner in behind mm -hmm. and when you have such talented passers of the ball in the midfield and even in the defense even from the goalkeeping position that Jamaica College have he's always going to be a constant threat in that way As Hylis last prepared to take a goal kick. Not the best one. Handball from Wilson. Not the highest tempo the second half has started out at seven minutes in, as opposed to the first half where it was very frantic. JC struggling to get this one away. They do eventually. Eventually, Lynch gets there. Saviola Blake. Nicely done. Wines. Almost played it through to McCon Aldridge. Janai Lawrence there with some excellent skill to evade some pressure. Did have a long range effort in the first half, but for the most part, he has been pretty quiet so far in this game. Janai Lawrence. JC basically 
taking their time. Trying to invite Haile Selassie onto them before exploiting the spaces that they would leave. Ziminis has it. Lynch kept it in play. Bennett trying to send this one inside the box. Wines retrieves. Maybe JC will step it up now. Romain Blake. Tariq Ziminis. Wines looking for options. Bennett. Back to Wines. They are playing high up the pitch, JC. Romain Blake with a trek inside the attacking third. Wines delivery inside, looking again for Blake, who had made a wonderful run inside the box, trying to get to the end of that ball from Wines. Jamaica College looking to make two substitutions soon. It's not only their starting 11 that they put out today that's full of goals and assists, full of contributions. It's also their bench goals spread all around their squad. Amali King is getting ready to come on, so to Alec Benny. Five goals and four assists between those two players. We'll see who they're going to replace. Seems as if the, fir seems as if the first change is going to be Javier Lynch. Yep for Amarley King, like for like swap. And then Tyreek Ziminis has run his course here today as well. As Benny will be coming on. So the Trinidadian coming onto the park, Alec Benny. I mean, he didn't have the, the best outing, but he was all right. Yeah, still a, a bit rusty. Alice Lassie will make a change themselves. I think it's Andre Cross getting ready to come on. We'll soon see who for. It's going to be Dyer. Striker who had a couple half chances in the first half. Has been relatively silent since though. Chasing shadows as most of his teammates have been. Seems to be a fan favorite, Andre Cross. Haile Selassie faithful have erupted once he came on. Let's see if he'll be a difference maker. Well, JC on the attack now, Aldridge. Last touch of him. Takes it quickly. Jamaica College have a free kick in a dangerous position. I'm sure there'll be no shortage of suitors for this one. Sayers seems to be favored for this one, however. As Kevin Hibbert organizes his wall, what, what looks to be a two man wall. Well, at least that's the intention. Sayers is behind this. He already has 
with one goal to his name so far this season but he has two assists as well Sayers goes goalwards and Hibbert holds on yeah, that was a very good hold any spillage there and there were two Jamaica college players breathing down his neck for a tap in not the best of clearances by Hibbert however that one going straight up into the sky Cross trying to make a difference here JC at ease for the time being Sayers to remain Blake very enterprising since coming on cross looking to put himself about they just need to be a little bit more accurate in the attacking third Hadis Lassie JC they do need that second goal because I see Alice Lassie just growing with a, a bit more confidence Saviola Blake. Ball played inside. It's a big chance for JC and it's buried. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderfully done. He's had a really good game so far. And he has come up trumps for JC inside the box with a really good finish. Jamali Bennett, the 16 year old, with his fourth goal this season. And JC 2 0 up now. Yeah, it was excellent movement by Jamali Bennett. He's been patrolling that right and half space for the entire game so far. Finally made a run that disguised itself enough to deceive the Haile Selassie defense. And it was an excellent finish into the roof of the net. Once again, Kevin Hibbert probably with no chance there. As I said, that's his fourth goal of the season. Another one of those Mount Pleasant Academy graduates here at Jamaica College. And he's really... Laid down the marker now, it's 2 0 to Jamaica College. Well, whatever route back for Haile Selassie in this contest is a little bit more precarious. One more goal for Jamaica would make it their 70th goal of the season. And they don't usually only leave it at two, so. Haile Selassie beware. But they won't be daunted. There's Cross. Winning a throw in a dangerous area. Valentine to take it. Yep, so. Alice Lath, they just mentioning that they, they seem as if they're growing a little bit more confident on the ball and then they just conceded to make it just a little bit harder for them or a lot harder for them actually Hepburn first period in a long time that they are trying to keep the possession Valentine couldn't quite win it. Wilson, no, <laughs> he's on a stroll trying to thread that one through. Malikin was waiting for it. There's Wilson again. Bennett switching the play, delightful stuff. That's very good defending in the end there. It was denying Alec Benny from going further forward. Yeah. 
easy car. Bennett was fouled. Taken quickly. Aldridge. Sears. Wilson. Wilson! What a save by Kevin Hibbert! He could have seen the shot coming from a mile away, I'm sure. Had to move quickly to his left to make the save. Yeah, that doesn't make it any easier to save. Especially when it's someone who has such a ferocious shot on him taking it. That one was with more finesse. He got there comfortably in the end. But he's conceded a corner. Jamaica College. It's going to be Sayers to whip this one in. An outswinger. Well, he's going to be kicking into a, a pretty stiff breeze at the moment. Let's see how this turns out. Yeah, it was always going to be difficult. It was. But Jamaica College really have been comfortable and dominant in this game. In terms of just territory, possession, and just squeezing the life out of a team. This is one of the most impressive performances I've seen this season. In both the Manning and the Costa Cup. Jamaica College really looking impressive. Yeah, I think they are just one of the monster teams in the Manning Cup. Trying to make a, a run through Joshua Duar. Still has it. Flag goes up for offside. Joshua Duar, such a talented player. Has been one of the most outstanding ones for Haile Selassie this season. As we have the water break. Is it the water break now? Yes, it is. Yep. Time to talk it over. Do of course, the captain of this Haile Selassie team is he's putting a shift and a half. Yeah, he always, this afternoon. he always does. Really talented player. When you talk about box to box, he really does it all. But he's struggled to have an impact on the game today because one can only run so much. At some point, you need the ball to do some running for you. And he hasn't gotten the opportunity to do that today. Because of the stifling defense, offense, just general stifling play of the Jamaica College team. But all Haile Selassie can do is, yeah, all Haile Selassie can do is really keep the, try and get hydrated as Jamaica College prepares some more substitutions. Dylan John. Yep, getting ready to come on. So, a couple of goals in this one. The first was an absolute peach. Yes, it was. Kevin Wilson. Wilson finding the top corner. And what a goal that was. A celebration to match. Jamaica College, that was Jamaica College 1 0. But they aren't done yet. As yep. Here comes the second. Yep. Good yep. progressive pass. And it's Amarley King with his first assist of the season. Assisting Jamarley Bennett with his fourth goal of the season. Excellent finish as well to the roof of the net. Kevin Hibbert really had no chance there. Jamaica College talking it over. Trying to see what more they can do. Because I'm sure Coach Ferguson is, is not completely con content with what he's seeing. He'll always want improvement. The fans of Haile Selassie are, are out in their numbers. These are the um, St. Andrew Technical fans waiting to see their team in action. That will be next here on Sportsmax. Their home of champions, of course. going to be an exciting one. It's going to be St. Andrew Technical versus Wilmers High. Two juggernauts of the schoolboy game. As Jamaica College prepared to make two more substitutions. Yeah, so Dylan John is definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michael Graham is the other. Another two players that were involved in the team from last season. Michael Graham coming into this game with some eight assists to his name. That's just incredible. Yeah, a very good creative player. So too is Dylan John. Two extremely talented players. Yes, 
as if Haile Selassie's job wasn't difficult enough. Yeah, probably becomes a little bit more difficult, but again, Hibbert is in the way and the resulting effort is blocked, still a chance. And uh, no damage done. The remaining 20 minutes is going to be very tough for Haile Selassie. Benny. Oh, wonderfully done across the face of goal. Easily handled there. Not the most convincing clearance as Blake is there. Saviola Blake, was he brought down inside the box? Referee Carl Terrell tells him to get up. Davidson. Yep. Just strolling. Wines. Back to Davidson. Romain Blake. <laughs> Couple of players down for Halis Lassie now, including Johnny Lawrence. They're prepared to make another substitution as well. Rohan Muir looking to come on. The penalty shot there. There was contact. But the referee deeming it not enough. As the two substitutions, it's going to be Saviola Blake coming off. Firstly, it's Sayers coming off for Graham, and then Saviola Blake coming off for Dylan John. Maybe a, a small tactical tweak there, because Dylan John is more of an attacking midfielder, or can also play on either flank so maybe we're going to see Jamali Bennett move backwards into the defensive midfield position which he can do at an extremely high level we're going to see Graham that's a like for like change we're going to see Graham more on that the left back position mm -hmm. where he has delivered as you said 8 assists so far this season as well as a couple of goals so he's a very dangerous attacking threat. So Kevin Wilson, of course, the son of the Arning Gardens legend, Kevin Pelle Wilson. Just really showing up in his role as, as father. No, legend still. Outstanding football player in the past, but very much a nurturing role for his son, who has been really good this afternoon. Yeah, he's, he's been very, very good. Patrol in the midfield, helping to create overloads on either flank, especially the left. The flank that Maquan Aldridge takes his position on, so he's really been impressive. Might be a front runner for man of the match, but boy... There's like nine, ten players from Jamaica College you could choose. Roughly. <laughs> Roughly, yep. Here's Graham. Davidson. Too much on it for Aldridge. What can Halis Lassie do here? Not Javon much. Payne's run was intercepted by who else but Romain Blake he's been really good Kevon Wilson has been really good as well Wines has also had a good game at right back for JC Bennett as well Eddie Moore you're the one who said eight or nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really could list off so many players. It's been a complete team performance. John.
Sandro had his last here. What can they do with this? And that's just pristine defending by Romain Blake. Not the best action to follow that by a Marley King, but loose touch by Graham. Yep, yeah, hasn't quite been off to the races as yet, having just come on as a sub. But I'm sure he'll settle cross. Graham again. Keeping it simple now. Jamaica College knocking it around the back. Yep, just eating up the time. Asking Hylis Lass to just run about a bit. Do they have the quality to, to turn possession now into a goal? It's been a difficult afternoon for them to express themselves in the attacking third. Here's Dylan Jan looking for a long pass. They're going to have harder tests than they have got today, but they've been a little bit slight to the back at times. With the talent in this team, I think they're primed to handle those Turner tests very well <laughs> safety first for Blake on this occasion he wasn't going to be dilly-dallying around with the possession deep in his defensive third Seems as if goalkeeper Rasiko Rose needs a little bit of treatment. Not sure what could have caused that problem. He's had a relatively quiet game. Oh. Yeah, not much to do so far. Well, this is the Sports Max at moment of the game. And really, it was always going to be this. Kevon Wilson with space and then driving home that effort. Wonderful hit. Kevin Hibbert really could do a lot with that one. Hibbert diving full stretch to his right, couldn't stop that one from Wilson. His eighth this season. That's the Sportsmax app moment of the game. Courtesy of the Sportsmax app. Kevon Wilson there. Also going to be a front runner for man of the match as well. Once we make that extremely difficult decision. Yes, extremely. Here's a shot over the top and wide. We have a few minutes to, to go, a few minutes to deliberate. I think the time is going to make it even harder. <laughs> Might have to put some names in a hat and pick it that way. Well, we hear that those circumstances are known to be rigged at times. <laughs> Oh, what a run this is. 
touches it inside. <laughs> Wilson was trying to feed him, you know. Unselfish player, always looking to create first. Bennett sends it out wide. JST in control. Although he's forced to go back. Rose goes too long. Almost sure he used his hand on that occasion, McConnell Aldridge. Yeah, he did. Well, here's another opportunity here. Burek his way towards the goal and he goes down. Carl Terrell ignores the cries from Amali King. And it is some cry. <laughs> it definitely was, but he does have a right to be upset to not get the penalty there. Here is Bennett. Bennett from long range and it's well wide. Yeah, that penalty shot. There was contact. Oh, he hmm. might have tripped him, tripped up his own self. So he was held, held a little. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that's nothing there. Good decision by the referee. Sharp eyes. The Jamaica College prepares three more changes. Yep. That's the benefit of having a really big squad. Jamali Bennett, his time is up. He's going to get a, a little bit of a rest. Having scored his fourth goal of the season in this game. Time Shaw comes on to replace him. The number five. We're also going to see Brandon Sandiford. Coming on for McQuan Aldridge. Sandy Ford with six goals and six assists this season, so he's no stranger to filling up the stat sheet, one might say. Yeah, and he did fill up the stat sheet against St. Mirrors College where he scored a hat trick, Sandy Ford. I'm just going to assume here that he was not the only one to score a hat trick against St. Mirrors College this season. <laughs> well, also, you can assume. <laughs> We're also going to see Damani Beritha, or Bertha, who has two goals, three assists this season, coming on for Kevon Wilson. Yep, so the, both goal scorers are out now. Alice that's looking for a goal in this one over the top. Effort coming in from Dua. We've seen a little bit more of the ball in the second half. The captain. Still looking for his fourth this season. That's about as close as he's come for the entire game. Pop shot from outside the box, trying to work the angle. Never troubling Rasika Rose, the Jamaica College goal. Nice run. Send out wide. Oh, 
Penny. Loves that dribble, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. It's such a Trinidad name though, Alec Benny. <laughs> such a Trinidadian name. Yeah, it really is. If you had to guess which nationality it would have been, it would have been easy to say TNT. And it's a baller's name too, as well. Nice turn and looking for the ball of field to Demani Bertier. Didn't quite reach him and a uh, bit of an injury for Romain Blake, is it? Yeah. Oh. Maybe a little of a little crap there. Definitely seems that way. Mm. For the time being, they'll be hoping that's what it is. Really, really warm conditions here at the National Stadium East Field. That's why it's also important to stay hydrated. Have to be fully hydrated coming into the match. It's not just about drinking a glass of water <laughs> throughout the game. But it's a, it's a lifestyle that you have to adopt. Or you could be in some trouble. always good to drink water specifically water yeah we, we keep on hearing that it's all good <laughs> oh, Alice Lass will be making three changes themselves Johnny Lawrence will be taken out Laundre Duncan Comes on to the park, the number 15. Jawan Payne is being taken out as well to be replaced by Omari Clark. There's Clark. So with these changes, I suppose the resistance ending. Yeah, just trying to give what would seem to be some of their younger players a, a run out. Philip Hudson comes onto the park now. In place of Sudre Hepburn. Around two minutes left. I, I assume there won't be too many time, too much time added on for stoppages. Forceful challenge coming in from Davidson there. Bertier collects it back. Oh, what a touch and what a move! And uh, just an outstretched leg there to stop JC from getting their third of the game. Oh, that. That was silky. Excellent work there by Berthier. But I think Amali King has an injury that maybe pre prevented him from being able to really extend himself or be ready to take that chance. National Stadium East Field. Always a packed venue whenever football is playing. Yep. As we take a look at that bit of skill. And he has some bit here. Oh my goodness, as if he wasn't yeah. there. <laughs> and then the no-look pass. And King wasn't sharp to it at all. 
Oh, I'd like to see more of JC's number 29. <laughs> He's, he looks as if he could be box office. You speak about that and that just goes to show the talent of the squad. Someone subbed on late in the second half. Four minutes added on. Didn't assume they would be that much. Coach Dave and Ferguson there, I'm sure. Well, they did have the water break as well. Oh, that's that's true. That's very true. Speculated effort and it's wide of the mark. <laughs> Linville Dixon has something to work with for next season. As he contemplates possible exit from this quarterfinal round stage in the Manning Cup. But I think they have shown enough in terms of beating the other teams or competing with other teams to show that they would be a threat in the Walker Cup. Yeah. Oh, almost definitely, yeah. Still, of course, they have that to play for. Time Shaw. Cut down on that occasion. Was a starter last season as well for quite a few of their matches, JC. So again, it just shows your depth when you have the likes of Taim Shaw coming off the bench. Played at left back, played in the holding midfield role for JC as well. Last term. One of their eight returning members. Here's Benny going on another dribble. Yep, Benny. After getting bored by it all, decided to play it back and in the end, JC losing the possession. But there is Shaw. Wonderful servant of Jamaica College. Time Shaw. Romain Blake Loose touch Davidson with a diving challenge and Carl Terrell will go into his pocket and show the yellow card to the JC skipper This is what happened Referee felt that it was a little bit too much from the JC captain because he did get the ball. He just got about 80% of the player as well. <laughs> this might be the last action of the game. Alice is asking, can they get something out of this game? No. Flag is up for offside. end of the game Jamaica College with another three points in the quarter final round of the Manning Cup two goals this time one from Kevon Wilson which we'll remember for a while and then a second from young Bennett both out of Mount Pleasant Academy and uh, 
Bennett with a really good finish. Jamani Bennett getting his fourth of the season after Wilson has been on the score sheet as well for the eighth time with his strike from outside the box. Rose didn't have a lot of work to do this afternoon, but in the end, the supporters came out in their numbers for Padis Lassie. Well, they'll continue to support them as they cheered throughout the entire game, but it proved not to be enough against this juggernaut of a Jamaica College team. And they came out on top, and in the end, it was pretty easy. 2-0 the final score. As we take a look at the full-time highlights for this encounter, JC had the majority of the possession, but had this lesson they had a, a few good opportunities there. And that was a really big one that they couldn't quite convert. And uh, JC in turn trying to move through the lines. Bennett was knocked off the ball. And there is this delivery inside looking for McQuan Aldridge who did well, relatively well. But the save was made by Kevin Hibbert. Skip it across to his right hand side. Harris Lassie. Still had more opportunities. Again, Walder Dyer was in the right place at the right time, but hesitancy. Mr. Glorious chance earlier on did Dyer, and on that occasion was unable to pull the trigger. Well, speaking of pulling the trigger, Wilson, Kevon Wilson, unleashing that one in the 20th minute. Let's see it again. Wonderfully placed, and there was power too. Hebert could do much with that one. And Kevon Wilson getting on the score sheet. Trying to add more to his game. And that one, not a whole lot of power behind it. Alice Lassie, not out of it. That was a wonderful effort, you know, from distance. And uh, a really good save from Rose. Second half, as the goal came through Bennett. Wonderful ball through. And there he was inside the box with a wonderful finish, really blasting it into the roof of the net. But that came in the 62nd minute. And the match was pretty much sealed after that. Wilson with a curler once more. And uh, Hebert equal to the task on this occasion. Bates here coming in as a sub. Wonderful skill. Tried to play through Amali King. But they couldn't get that third goal. Jamaica College. And we also have the final match statistics. It was a very dominant display by Jamaica College. They had 13 shots to Haile Selassie's four, seven on target to two. There were 18 fouls between the two teams. One yellow card to Xavier Davidson of Jamaica College. No red cards, two offsides apiece. Five corners to Jamaica College, only one to Haile Selassie. Five saves had to be made by Kevin Hibbert in the Haile Selassie goal. Only two by Rasiko Rose of Jamaica College. And the position stats show the domination as well. 61% to Jamaica College, only 39 to Haile Selassie. And at the end of it all, it's Haile Selassie nil, Jamaica College 2. We now go to Kimani, who has the man of the match today, Kevon Wills. Thank you, Lije. I'm, as you said, I'm joined by the man of the match from Jamaica College, Kevon Wilson. And to present him with his man of the match award and a brand new Samsung phone, Miss Kadeen Webley of Digicel, junior brand manager. Thank you, Miss Webley. Kevon, you scored a cracking goal. Do you rehearse that sort of goal? Do you score that on the regular? Yes, yeah, a regular goal for me, but have to take more practice because normally kicking the shot always I'm back always lean back so my father just tell me every time I'm kicking I always try to chest over the ball and I execute it very well. 
Well, you mentioned your dad. How does it feel to kind of sort of feel in, in his shoes, so to speak? Is that like tremendous pressure for you? How do you cope with that? Well, to me, it's not really a sort of pressure because I know my quality and I'm confident in myself. So, But it's good to be known that I'm the son of a famous footballer in the country. Thank you, Kevon. All the best for your upcoming matches. That was one of the match Kevon Wilson of Jamaica College. I'll now be joined by Coach Hemmings of Haile Selassie. Coach, a tough defeat in the end. Sum up the game for us. All right, um, we'll come up against a very good Jamaica College team. Um, we'll try to be patient as possible, sit behind the ball as much as possible. Um, try to keep them as much as possible till half time. And then our plan was to go at them second half. But unfortunately, we'll give up our first half goal in the first half. So we have to change our game plan. Do you think starting so negatively, so to speak, was the Achilles heel of your team today? No, because we start negative and um, we get two early chances where we should have put away. But that's a game of football. Well, there's still the Walker Cup spot, that third spot to play for. And you don't know what's going to happen in the next game. So there's still a lot to play for. What's the perspective your team is taking going into the next game? All right, there's still a possibility of making it to the semi-final. Um, we're just hoping that um, Wilmers can get past that today. And then we, we, we go up against Wilmers on Friday. So we can throw the punch at Wilmers on Friday and see where it takes us. Thank you, coach. All the best. Thanks much. I'll now be joined by the winning coach of Jamaica College, Coach Ferguson. Coach, I'm sure you're a pleased man today, winning that game comfortably at 2-0. Sum up the performance. Um, definitely we're pleased. Um, the objective was met. We wanted to win this game. We wanted to put ourselves in the semi-finals um, after today's game. Um, but the key was to try to do it with as limited amount of energy as possible. We played two days ago and we'll play two days from now. So the turnover time is not very long. So in this moment is conservation of energy, and recovery and getting the youngsters ready to play the next one. Is your next immediate objective to come out on top of the group in that first spot? Well, we are leading now and every game we play, we play to win. So definitely the next game we're going in that game also to win it. In terms of coping with pressure, do you feel the pressure of this job, you know, managing the most winningest team in the Manning Cup? And how, do you, how does your players cope with that pressure as well, wearing the badge from JC? Well, I've been in this job going my fourth season now. Um, so if I couldn't manage the pressure, I wouldn't be here so long. Um, also, I think these youngsters understand what we're about. They understand the standard that we set. And I think they're, they're good. They're good youngsters. They're really good youngsters who really want to do well. Thank you, coach. All the best. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. No pressure, no pressure after this performance. JC with a 2 0 win over Haile Selassie, and they continue to be perfect in this quarterfinal round group. your every day. I got a mortgage customized to fit me. Same day pre approval on my loan. Lower mortgage payments, so I have money to do more of the things that matter. Happiness is owning my own crib. Take advantage of our same day mortgage pre approval plus customized financing of up to 100% and enjoy low monthly payments. Happiness is home. Own it with BMBS. VM, we're here for you. We are. Yeah.
Jam Group. Transform your everyday.